an epic legal hangover. Wednesday brought an end to the third trial over Silvio Berlusconi's Bunga Bunga party scandal, as the former Italian prime minister and 28 co-defendants were acquitted of witness tampering and perjury charges. I hope this will be the final word in this long trial history in which three different courts have confirmed the same thing, that there was no crime. Prosecutors say the parties held at Berlusconi's villa during his tenure as prime minister were hedonistic bacchanals, where young women were paid for stripping and sex. The billionaire right-wing politician had been accused of paying millions of euros in hush money for what prosecutors called silence and lies after the scandal broke. The fact that they lied is the starting point. Now it's only a matter of legal interpretation, whether you consider them witnesses and if they lied as witnesses. Also acquitted, the former nightclub dancer, once known as Ruby the Heart Stealer. In 2010, Berlusconi was charged with paying her for sex when she was just 17 years old. Many people were involved in this battle. I was never the protagonist, but I was the victim because I was an instrument for everybody. Berlusconi insists that the parties were actually elegant dinners and that later payments to attendees were aimed at making up for reputational damage amid the scandal. The 86-year-old is now a senator at the head of the third largest party in Italy's right-wing coalition government.